Days after abruptly closing its doors, Alfred Angelo Bridal has released a statement. The company filed bankruptcy last week, leaving brides across the nation and here in Tucson scrambling. Now on your side's Jennifer Martinez spoke with the bride who's getting married in September. I wish I would have gotten a call because I would have been running in there too. It's supposed to be the happiest day of your life and looking for the perfect dress is all part of the memories leading up to the big day. It's an experience It's part of the getting married experience um, that I feel has kind of been taken away now. The dress is beautiful. We waited three months for it. But now Karen Clements, who was set to get married at the end of September, is frustrated and confused. Her mom out of $1,400. I did want to pay for her dress completely in full. I have a receipt for it. Uh, and I like to pay for things ahead of time so everything doesn't come at you at once. Clements is one of the thousands of brides left jilted and searching for answers with one burning question. Will they receive their wedding dresses? According to a statement on their website, the company filed for bankruptcy on July 14th. In turn, all stores and wholesalers closed down. The company did say that they would post availability for dresses on their website, but brides say they haven't heard anything. Chapter 7 is so. Uh, the likelihood of her getting that back is pretty slim, and that just makes me so angry. And I shouldn't be angry right now. I should be happy. AlfredAngelo.com is officially out of commission, telling shoppers to contact their Chapter 7 bankruptcy trustee, Margaret Smith. As for Clements, the show must go on. Uh, I'm just really concerned, you know, that she gets her money back. Um, I would like to have the dress. But it's like time is running out now. If she doesn't get her dress from Alfred Angelo, she will buy another one. Jennifer Martinez, Kega 9, on your side.